What will happen at the end of time? The return of Christ. What does the return of Christ mean to the believer? It should generate an exhilarating hope and confidence because we know the end of the story and we know who wins. It should also produce a great longing to be found faithful when Christ returns and a great passion for mission because we understand the consequences for those who do not believe. During Jesus' last evening with his disciples, he told them not to let their hearts be troubled because he was going away to prepare a place for them. He promised that he was going to come again. Christians believe history is working relentlessly and inexorably toward the consummation of God's eternal purposes. These purposes will be brought to pass at the glorious, triumphant return of the risen Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus first came into Jerusalem, he came humbly on a donkey and with tears. When Christ returns, it will not be in tears but as a triumphant warrior in charge of the armies of God to bring about the purposes of God. At the end time, he will gather together God's people, and he will bring final judgment on those who don't belong to him. Jesus is called the one who is faithful and true. He will come to rule and reign in righteousness irresistibly and indisputably in control. He will be king of kings, and there will be no area in which his authority is not final. Jesus, the Word of God, also became the Lamb of God. The one who will come to judge has earned the right to judge because he accepted the wrath of God for the sins of the whole world, went down into death, and was raised again triumphant. The end times will see Jesus ruling the nations in truth and righteousness as King of kings and Lord of lords, there is a picture in Revelation 19 of the aftermath of battle and victory over the enemies of God. It is called the Great Supper of God, verses 17. The Wedding Supper of the Lamb, verses 9, is set in contrast to it. The Bride of Christ is the Church of Christ and at the end of time, she will share in the Marriage Supper of the Lamb. The Day of the Lord is all about judgment and blessing and we need to see both in balance in order to get the full picture of the return of Christ. The second coming the one who is opposed to the purposes of God is Satan. He will be bound for a thousand years, released to deceive the nations, and then finally judged at the end of the age. The Bible refers to this period of time as the second coming and the great white throne judgment. It will include all of creation, the great white throne judgment is an awe-inspiring and terrifying thought. The books will be open and we will be judged based on the righteousness of God. There are no exceptions, no omissions, and no excuses. There will be no miscarriage of justice, just the awesome righteousness of God like a spotlight evaluating all of the book of life will also be opened at the second coming. It is the record of all who have received life eternal. Scripture says that eternal life is the gift of God through grace. It has nothing to do with us and everything to do with what God has done for us. The glory of God will be seen in the return of Christ during the end times whether it be in judgment on the unrepentant or in blessing on the redeemed, the book of Revelation the title Revelation in Greek is the word apocalypse or apocalyptic. Apocalyptic literature is full of symbols and imagery that are intended to convey a message through symbolism. Therefore, the book of Revelation in the Bible is apocalyptic literature that is symbolic and requiring both careful study and careful interpretation. The Apostle John has a vision while in exile in Patmos for the testimony of Jesus. He's instructed to take careful notes and send what he learns to the churches in the Roman provinces of Asia Minor, now Western Turkey. Those churches were struggling at that time. John writes to encourage them to stand firm so that instead of being overwhelmed, they will.